continuing this arduous climb because I think open country is above me a short distance here. I want to get to it. I need one more shot up there then I'll stop because it doesn't look like I can easily get to it. <laughs> Must be one of the very old streets. Access is no longer used. Looks like the land not even used, replaced by better roads with vehicle access. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm guessing that much of the rock I'm walking over has just eroded off these walls at last. I'm guessing that these are what the canyons I've seen from a distance, which just look like moderate little rills down those barren slopes. This is what it must actually look like up close. It would be like to hike up that canyon. I'm not going to. There's a man hollering to me from over there. Don't know what he's saying and I can't see him yet. You'll notice that there's old walls. Yeah, I think he's calling me from that intersection of paths down there. But I can't see him yet. As I go up, I want to look at that bridge. Look how large that is, and yet it doesn't seem to serve any function. But in ancient times, who knows what the role of this area was. I am pleased to meet you, Lo Lin. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Bye-bye. How he suspected I was American is a good question. At the very end, before I turned to walk down the path, back downhill and he could no longer see me, I yelled back and waved, bye-bye, Yolin. And he way hollered back, I couldn't see him. He hollered back, bye-bye, Scott. Or something like Scott. <laughs> Those are the rich, rare, small, tiny moments that are precious in travel. The kind that I'll remember all the rest of my life while the more dramatic may fade. Because therefore, just a few moments that'll never be recreated between he and I, two humans reached across the literal abyss and a cultural abyss to touch hands, figuratively. And in some small way, but something how, for me, profound, an important friendship way. <laughs>